All right, so here's the two that you had to do on your own. Let's graph them fairly quickly here. So this first one, um, I'm going to use the x-intercepts to find that. Uh, when I plug in 0 for x, I get negative 1 third for y. And when I plug in 0 for y, I get negative 1 for x. So I'm going to put a point at negative 1, 0 and 0, uh, excuse me, negative 1 third. Go down the other way. And I connect those dots. This is a greater than or equal to, so it is a solid line. And now I'm going to test which side has solution. So I'm going to pick 0, 0, because that one's on one side, and that's an easy one. And so that's 0 plus or minus plus 3 times 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. That is 0 is greater than or equal to negative 1. True statement. True statement. And because that's true, we're going to shade everything that is on the same side as 0, 0. So that's my graph. On this second one, we have a y-intercept of 4. We have a slope of negative 3. Cut it out. This is a less than sign, so this is a dotted line, or a dashed line, depending on how you want to do it. And then let's test. Again, I'm going to test 0, 0. As long as 0, 0 isn't on the line, that's always the one I test, because it's the, it's the easiest one to do. So that 0 is less than 4. True statement? True statement. So I shade in this side. All right, let's do our last two examples. They're fairly quick here. Uh, drawing horizontal and vertical lines. So we did these in the past. When it's y equals, it is a horizontal line. When it is x equals, it is a vertical line. Which means, since this is less than, still vertical line. So, the way that we do it is the same thing that we did on the previous ones. We graph the line, we shade in the side that has solutions. This is at y is negative 3, this is a solid line. So y is negative 3, solid line. And then which side do we shade? Well, it says y is greater than, which means I am shading everything that is greater than. So this is the shaded side. Now for the x's, this is a vertical line. This is a less than symbol, which means this is a dotted line. So I'm going to go to x is negative 1, which is here, and it's a dotted line all the way down. Now this says x is less than, so we need to shade the side that is less than. This is the less than side for x's. So that's my solution. You got a couple more problems on your canvas? Go check that out. And then we got one more video with the solution to those right next coming up next.